Hey guys, Dr. Jason Toronto here, your West New York chiropractor. And today we're going to be talking about the four biggest myths, lies, whatever you want to call it, about back pain. You know, how much do you really know about back pain? All right, so I want you to just sit back and enjoy these good to know facts that surround some of the myths about back pain that are going on inside your body and what it could actually mean to you. So let's go over myth number one. You know, back pain, the myth is that back pain is just a normal part of aging, right? I'm sure you've all heard that, but you know, just because you're adding more candles to your birthday cake doesn't mean that it's normal to add back pain to your life. I mean, you know, back pain doesn't have to come with age. You know, sure, look, getting older is gonna, may make us more susceptible to, to certain types of illnesses or even diseases that can possibly cause back pain, but, you know, there are some steps that you can take to really actively diminish, diminish the uh, back pain. And it can, you can really keep your spine healthy, like simple things like stretching, like exercise. And, of course, well, chiropractic care, right? So myth number two. Most people say, well, I'm physically active, so back pain isn't going to be a problem for me because I stretch and I'm, I'm very active. Look, you know, staying physically fit, it's one thing. And it's one of the many things that you could really do just to kind of keep your, your back very, very healthy. But, you know, unfortunately, there isn't one set way to really ensure that you never experience a back pain attack. So, you know, in addition to keeping very active and stretching, I want you to consider a few other things. Consider eating a, a highly nutritious diet, lowering stressors inside your environment, and maintaining really good posture. Like for example, today people are on the phone texting all day and it destroys the curves inside their neck, causing a lot of pain. Myth number three, I'm not in a lot of pain right now, so my injury, well, it must not be that bad. You know, the fact is, is you know, pain really is a poor indicator of just how serious your injury could be. And you know, sometimes, you know, pain can take days, it can take even weeks, it just kind of show itself following an injury as, you know, the ligaments get stretched out, some of the inflammation builds up inside your body. So if you're experiencing a mild ache or maybe a pain that's constant or persistent, you know, that might be time to just, or that might be the signal to just go get it checked out. Myth number four, right? My last one, because I've got to get going. You know, if I have back surgery or if, if I have back pain, well, then I definitely need to go for surgery. You know, I see this so many times, where nearly everyone is going to experience some type of back pain at some point in their life. You know, it's not a reason to have to opt for surgery right away. You know, if you're experiencing pain, you know, then, or back pain or neck pain, try to pursue some of the least invasive things first, right? So think of it this way, you know, chiropractic first, drugs second, and then surgery is obviously going to be third, but it's not so obvious to a lot of people. You know, um, look, if you've been experiencing some type of back pain, I want you to consider giving me a call to schedule an appointment. You know, back pain, although it may be very common, it's not normal. So if you're experiencing some kind of back pain, give me a call, right? I'm here to help you out. I'm Dr. Dr. Jason Toronto. If you like this video, uh, I'd like you to just press like at the bottom. Uh, and if you really like it, or you know somebody that has back pain, then I'd like you to share it if you possibly can over to your timeline or share it to some other people that you know might be experiencing some back pain. I'm Dr. Jason Toronto, your West New York chiropractor, and I'll see you soon.